Nintendo never presumed that this could happen. With the overwhelming success of the Wii, its follow-up system the Wii U was almost guaranteed for stardom, but it never really took off. It goes to say quite a few things when you have a Japanese developer that comes out and admits defeat, which recently happened when Nintendo released the recent reports and the sales projections of the Wii U system. To summarize everything, their stock is dropping, they're not moving units, and things are looking very bad for Nintendo's latest console. All you guys understand this, all you guys have known this for quite a bit of time, and I've even expressed some of my sentiments regarding the Wii U and have had faith in it in the past because of the games that were coming out. The biggest problem is that, oh my god, it's taking those games a long freaking time to come out. My Wii U still goes practically unplayed over the past year I have owned it. Aside from a couple wonderful titles, including the latest Super Mario Brothers and Wonderful 101, but some of the bigger games, the ones we were really looking forward to, like Bayonetta 2, Mario Kart, and Smash Brothers, still have release dates that are to be determined. And I think this is the big problem. We actually recently spoke on your video games regarding this issue of what Nintendo needs to do, what is going on, and what we think has caused this entire situation. And my friend Matt had a pretty good solution or a pretty good presumption of what Nintendo's current situation has come to. They have a huge image problem. The marketing for the system, the title of the system, everything leading up to the Wii U lets you understand or makes the casual market understand Oh my gosh, it's a small upgrade from the Wii. And my presumption was that so many people went into the Wii, they do not see the value of upgrading to a Wii U unless you're a hardcore Nintendo fan. Even I purchased the system simply for one game, Bayonetta 2, and it's not even out yet. And beyond that, there's a few titles that look really interesting and that I want. But man, it's taking way too long, and Nintendo's overconfidence over the past year has made it very apparent that this was a very bad business decision. Iwata, one of the higher-ups at Nintendo, has said in the past that one game can save a system. And this can happen, it is true. Games like Halo absolutely made the original Xbox a thing. Even though amidst the consoles it was out and rivaling against, it wasn't huge, but it saved the Xbox brand and made it as big as it is today. Granted, Nintendo has all these franchises, all these games. If they came out and announced their next-gen Zelda game and did everything regarding that, it would be very big, but that might not even come out until 2015 or later. The bigger issue is that the flagship titles of a Nintendo console still don't exist, i.e. a Smash Brothers game and a Mario Kart game, and Smash Brothers is the one that is really important in my opinion. I don't believe Nintendo systems personally are worth purchasing just for games like Mario Kart or an independent Mario game. You might love those games individually, but for guys like me and I think a huge majority of the public, Smash Brothers is that amazing local multiplayer game that everyone can play and everyone can enjoy. And I do think the Smash Brothers game on Wii U does look really good. The bigger issue is that it's taking forever to come out. Now there's gonna be a couple of other things that decide if Smash Brothers is gonna be a huge success. Is it gonna have good online? Is it gonna have a roster that will rival the previous games? There's so many elements that actually go into making this game successful not only for the system but for the game itself that it's kind of worrying. These titles have taken way too freaking long. I want to like my Wii U. I own it and I spent an absorbent amount of 300 dollars to get it to play a couple of games and sadly I want to see that be a possibility before Nintendo goes further anymore. Now the bigger question at hand is can one game, can Smash Brothers, perhaps the game with the largest amount of future success, save the Wii U? And as popular as the Smash series is, and as large as a fan base as it has, and as a person who really wants to get into the Smash series and learn a lot of the deeper intricacies of the game and I'm looking forward to Smash Wii U as that game, I don't even think that this game can save the system. I don't know about one game saving the system, even though you have a lot of titles, there seems to be a lot of good stuff in 2014 coming from the Wii U. The presumption of Bayonetta 2 releasing this year with Mario Kart, Smash Brothers, maybe the action Zelda game. Even with those, I think the Wii U's image problem has really, really, really stifled it in the long run. This thing is selling worse than the GameCube, one of Nintendo's most unsuccessful systems. And even with the PlayStation 4's launch, a next generation system that has only come out within the past few months, breaking the total sales figures of the Wii U over the past year it's been out, Yes, there is a problem, and it's a very good thing that Nintendo is acknowledging the fact that this is an issue. It's good to know that they're actually moving forward and changing their business plans. It only kind of upsets me that they're reserving these games for releases on a system that might not have that big of a player base in the long run. 
Like many others, I kind of want to take Wii U as a lesson learned. That this was a small period of the company that has had a lot of success and over a long period of time and move forward, move forward with something different. I know that Smash Brothers is coming out on this system. We all know all those games are going to exist on the Wii U hardware, even though it's a small, small audience in comparison to other systems. But I think that focusing on a next generation platform will be really good and actually making the priority instead of weird little gimmicky things like a waggle remote and making your tablet screen, I actually want them to put that money into graphics, processing, and RAM so that developers can kind of go crazy with a lot of different games, add different things like enemy AI, or different ways to play games. Sure, you have these resources that are available in real life with waggling and, t and screen touching and all this stuff, but sometimes you just need to have games that perform as good as other games on the market. And even within all the previous console generations, the ones that do look really good are important, but the ones that have the games that are the most focused are really important as well. And if Nintendo can get rid of the horrible image problem the Wii U has right now, they could be in. They could refocus all their marketing efforts. We can potentially get Smash Brothers maybe on a new system, ported over, higher resolution graphics, better online. Who knows? I have no problem double dipping in certain games if they're extremely good and upgraded. Because we like the games we like to play, and Resident Evil 4 being released on HD and a lot of people being excited about that is another example of people willing to play some of the best games ever over and over again on multiple consoles and systems. Let me know what you folks think about the current situation with Nintendo and the Wii U. Do you think they should move forward in a new console hardware, or do you think they should stick it out with what they currently have and try to go up against Sony and Microsoft within the next console generation? Either way, I appreciate the feedback, and I'm really looking forward to Smash Brothers as some new mechanics were recently announced about how they're going to be attacking the design of the game, how certain things like edge guarding works and other characters that are kind of changing the formula, which gets me pretty freaking excited. Either way, I can't wait to get my hands on it. Hopefully I'll be able to do so at E3 this year, and hopefully not that long after, we'll finally see a release date for Super Smash Bros. on Wii U. My name is Maximilian, thank you dudes very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.